Hello everybody, I am doing this video just to conclude uh, on a question that I had from my previous, uh, my previous video on IFC Codaster and the question was uh, if it is possible to see the local axis for uh, 1D for beam elements and uh, if it is possible to see the, the cross-section dimensions for the cross-section dimensions, to be honest, I don't uh, know of a direct way to do it with uh, the current version of Salome Mecca uh, for the local axis, I'm going to show you two things. One, how to uh, configure uh, the orientation from the command file. And uh, two, how to visualize the local axis in uh, Paraview. The command that we use to assign properties to the 1D elements, I have here uh, drawn some uh, one, D, one, one beam elements so we can... Uh, have uh, an example, a very simple example. Uh, the command that we use is affecarlm. For example, if uh, we want to assign a rectangular cross section, we have to make a, a reference to the y and the z local uh, axis of the element. So we have to know where these uh, are pointing so that uh, we assign the correct dimensions. If we click here, uh, we can see that there is uh, the orientation command and uh, we, I use, uh, there are some options here, if we click there are some different options, I use uh, this uh, option angle vril and uh, what this does is to assign an initial rotation of uh, the local reference system along the local x-axis of the element. The x-axis is always uh, the one that is passing through the nodes. Of course, uh, by default, this is uh, uh, zero. And uh, here I'm just leaving the default value for all the elements, except for this column. So the second uh, column that I have drawn where I have a value of uh, minus 90 degrees and we will see how this uh, will uh, change uh, the result now if we want to uh, I have here this is a very simple command file and uh, if we want to see, visualize this information in uh, Paraview we have to click here input concept is the command we can select the same armed to add these results. Here we're going to select the structure element, the LM, so this is uh, where we take this information and we have to click here and select one of these two. I will select the LM element. I don't think there will be a big difference between these two. Okay, so by doing this we can uh, go and run the analysis and then we go to Paraview to see the results so let's see how we can draw this local axis ok so I'm importing here our med we can see here some extra values uh, these are below 1, 2 and 3 are uh, related to the local axis the first thing we have to do is a filter alphabetical is easier to L no field uh, to surface apply and then we start uh, building one by one the, the three vectors we have to use glyph you don't see this toolbar you have to right click here and uh, click on the common in any case I'm going to go to glyph orientation the first uh, vector scale no scale I'm going to use all the elements all the nodes I want to see in all the nodes because in this case I don't have too many otherwise I may select something different I click apply and then I can also select the color which I think is useful to identify the directions I will use this notation, these colors so we have the red for X 
no scale orientation to all points apply yellow for y direction and uh, green for the z direction okay and these are the the local axes and this will work for all the elements actually not only for the the 1D, so also for the 2D and 3D. So what we see here the difference is, for example, X is always going from uh, the first node to the second node. We can see here that this beam, for example, I constructed it in the other direction and uh, you can see the difference. In order to understand how is the default uh, direction, the default, let's say, orientation of uh, the local axis, when we don't have any input value, we can think of uh, three transformations of uh, an element so as to have uh, in, to have it in the final configuration. We can think that every element is constructed in this uh, orientation, so it has a local axis initially that is exactly the same as the global axis. Then it has uh, three rotations. It is subjected to three rotations. A rotation always with respect to its uh, local axis. So a, a rotation with respect to its z direction, if it is uh, needed. A, a rotation with respect to its uh, y direction. A rotation with respect to its uh, x direction. And this last value is the rotation that we input. The other two are dictated by its uh, geometry. Like this, we can understand uh, how will be the final uh, default value of the local axis if we don't uh, input any value, or uh, we can understand how inputting this value will change it. The just one thing I want to show is that for these two columns, you see that uh, what is uh, the difference. I think that this is more intuitive for uh, somebody because usually when we input uh, in a rectangular section uh, the two values for the column that would be let's say width and height usually we, we have in our mind that the width in the, is in the x direction and the height is in the y direction but this uh, if we don't uh, rotate it, it will, we will have something uh, the opposite so we will have uh, the first value along the y direction and the second value along, along the x direction. So the most intuitive is to use a rotation of minus 90 degrees and have something like this which uh, makes sense. So this is uh, more or less uh, what I wanted to show very quickly and I uh, hope uh, it was uh, useful. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.